I'm gonna teach you the proper way to use a hydraulic jack safely so you don't hurt yourself and you don't damage your car. Welcome RevMatch family, I'm Eric. If you're new here, I'm doing a series of super basic how-to videos so that you can get comfortable working in your own car and save some money. If that sounds good to you, hit that round subscription button right in the video and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Before we get into this, please watch the entire video. This is about safety. If you don't do this right, it could mean your life. It's very important that you understand what you're doing and take your time. If you're not comfortable with this, please talk to somebody who's done it before, who is familiar with it, or just go to a mechanic if you don't think you can do this. You're gonna need a three-ton hydraulic jack, and of course, four jack stands. I purchased these at Harbor Freight. However, I've got links in the description below to some really high quality equipment that you can purchase from Amazon. You're also gonna need a couple of wheel chucks or a couple of two by fours will work just as well. Before doing anything else, make sure the car is in gear and you've got the parking brake engaged. This is my 1989 Nissan 240 SX, but before we get started, there's a couple important things. This is all about safety, so the most important thing that you can start with is you need a flat, level surface, preferably concrete. Start with that. Don't use grass or dirt. I would highly recommend against that unless it's an emergency. We're going to look at some good jack points and some bad jack points, and picking the right jack point is super important for safety. This is a factory jack point. This is really good. This has got some strength to it. This frame rail here, this is also really, really good too. This is an older car. They have frame rails. It's a little scraped up. This car was uh, living its previous life as a stance car. Let's look at some bad jack points. This is a really bad jack point, not designed to handle any kind of weight at all. So is this little metal bracket here. That's also a bad point. Let's look at the exhaust system. Definitely do not use the exhaust system. This mounting point for the sway bar, this is also not a good jack point. This is not designed to handle much weight. And look at the, the end link of the sway bar. This is also a terrible jack point. Don't use this. You definitely want to find something that is structural. Now let's look at another car from the same vintage. This is my awesome, awesome E30 race car. It's a 1987. It's got frame rails as well. And this is why I put the jack over here. It's a good, strong jack point. Let's move to the back. There's this cross member which supports the suspension. It's designed to handle a lot of weight. I like this as a jack point on this car. It's uh, pretty strong. This bolt over here, that's a bad spot. Even though it can handle the weight, the jack could slip off. Okay, this is a really bad jack point. That's a fuel filter, don't use that. That's the floor tub for the rear passengers where their feet's gonna go. That's very weak, that's very thin metal. Going up to the front of the car, this is the oil pan. Worst idea ever, do not put your jack there. You're gonna have a really, really bad day. Now, looking at a good spot, this frame rail here, this cross member, this supports the motor. This is designed to hold a lot of weight. Older cars have these and actually new ones do too. This is a great jack point if you wanna jack up the whole front of the car at once. Going to the rear of the car, I highly recommend the rear differential. Put the jack under the widest flat part at the bottom here. That's designed to handle a lot of load. You can jack up the whole back of the car at once really safely and easily from this spot. This is my 2016 Audi S3. You can see there's a factory jack point right here. This is obviously a really good spot to be jacking up your car. That's what it's designed for. Now, modern cars have a ton of plastic underneath them and you don't know what's going on up above the plastic. I would highly recommend that you don't put a jack on any of the plastic areas. Heading over to the back of the car, you've got this pinch weld here. You could put a jack here or a jack stand here. And then back here, you've got a factory jack point here. I would use this as well, pretty strong. Let's say that you only need to jack up one wheel. You're working on the brakes, for example. All you need is your hydraulic jack and a jack stand. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna use the factory jack point, so I'm gonna move that in place. Get it right in the center like that. I'm gonna jack up the car. I can put the jack here, which is pretty good. This is the frame rail. Or if your car has pinch welds, I can put the jack here too. Now this is really important. You don't want the car to drop down really quickly, really suddenly, fall on the jack stand. Bad idea. So it's important to let it down slowly. We want to bring this counterclockwise, and I'm going to use two hands. I'm going to put one hand up here and one hand here, and with my top hand, I'm kind of holding it back 
with this one, I'm turning it this way, and I can let it down. So you see down here, it's gonna have a little bit of slack. Once it sort of engages, grab it really firmly, see how firm my hand is, and turn it really slowly, just a little bit like that. And that's pretty good. Now let's look at jacking up the back of the car only. So we're gonna get both rear wheels off the ground at the same time. First, we're gonna put in our wheel chucks in both front wheels. Uno, dos. Then we're gonna put the jack under the rear differential right in the middle at the strongest point and jack it up slowly. Once the height is high enough, put the two jack stands under the frame rails and then let the jack down very slowly. When you're letting the car down, make sure that the car is gonna rest on the middle of the jack stand so they're not off to one side or that a jack is canted or anything like that. Make sure that it goes down nice and square. If you need to, bring the car back up a little bit and then move the jack and then let it down again super slowly. The car is resting on both jack stands now. I can take the jack out completely and we're good to go. Now that we got the back end of the car up in the air, let's do all four corners and I'll show you how to do it safely. Because this car is so low, I'm gonna use a low profile jack and I'm actually gonna put it in from the side of the car. That's not normally how you would do it. Normally you'd put it in from the front. And I wanna find the oil pan and then I wanna move back from the oil pan and find the cross member. This is where I'm gonna jack it up. You wanna make sure that your jack stands are all the same height, that the front are the same height as the rear, so that way the car will be even. Once you got the car up, again, position your jack stands where you want them, make sure everything looks good, let it down onto the jack stands, and you're good. I'm doing these videos so that you guys can become more comfortable and more confident working in your own cars. If there's topics that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below and I will cover the most popular ones. As always, I really appreciate you guys. If you wanna stay updated, hit that round subscription button over there and the notification bell. And remember, keep the pedal down.